Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Yue Eats. I'm Yue, and today we're going to one of my favorite fast food restaurants, a fast food restaurant unique to New York City, Xi'an Famous Foods. Now, we've covered lots of different cuisines on this channel. We've covered steak, we've covered burgers, we've covered tacos, and etc. But Chinese food is one of my favorites. And I mean real, authentic Chinese food. Not that I have anything against Panda Express, I love orange chicken, but real, authentic Chinese food is one of my favorite things to eat. Now here in the US, even authentic real Chinese food restaurants tend to focus mostly Southern Chinese cuisine, particularly Cantonese and Hong Kong style food. But Xi'an Famous Foods serves food from Western China, particularly food from Xi'an, one of the oldest cities in China. And it's a uniquely New York City fast food chain. You won't find it anywhere outside of New York City right now. Anyways, let's go eat. Come on, let's go. Okay guys, we are inside Xi'an Famous Foods, one of their several locations. This is their Chelsea location, not far from Chelsea Market. Now, this is very much a fast food slash fast casual restaurant. Very, very efficient, not much wait staff. You kind of just grab your stuff and go. And a lot of it is also automated using an iPad. But don't let that fool you. This is as authentic of a Chinese restaurant as you're going to find. And uh, even in Chinatown, it can be hard to find authentic Xi'an Western Chinese food. So if you're in New York, this is a must try. Now there's loads of stuff on this menu. I wish I could show you guys everything, but we're gonna have to pick and choose uh, since there's only so much that I can eat, of course. Let's go with an order of dumplings, and these dumplings are very Western style Chinese dumplings. So as you can tell by the shape, they're not exactly like the dumplings that you're used to. So let's try these. We're gonna get something called a uh, rou jia mo, but it, here people tend to call them Chinese hamburgers. Basically stewed meat between two pieces of buns and they are excellent. Let's not neglect vegetables. So we're gonna get a spicy cucumber salad. And then the reason why we're here is for hand ripped noodles, also known as hand pulled noodles. What makes this place great is that it's serving authentic hand pulled noodles. Most Chinese restaurants go with machine produced noodles, mostly for convenience and cost. But this chain, Xi'an Famous Foods, all their noodles are hand pulled and hand stretched. And just like any sort of homemade pasta or noodle, hand pulled noodles are no exception and they're far superior to machine made noodles. So we gotta get those. All right guys, they're super efficient. So we placed our order not long ago and the food came in less than five minutes. Let me show you what we got. Mask off and let me show you. Wow, everything we got just looks so good. Totally different from your typical takeout Chinese restaurant or Panda Express, right? Let's uh, open this up. So this is a spicy cucumber salad, uh, real spicy, as you can see by the jalapeno on top. And uh, you know, this is mostly just because I feel like I have to get some vegetables while I'm eating. Can't eat nothing but starch and meat, but of course I had to get some spicy hot oil laden veggies. So can't wait to try this. Now these are pork and cabbage dumplings. Now most dumplings are pork and cabbage, so that's not different, but just look at the shape of these dumplings. Just totally different from most dumplings that we see. If I just pick one up, you'll see that they're very round. Most dumplings are kind of like almost purse shaped, like more rectangular or oval like, if you know what I mean. But these are very round and apparently this is a Xi'an thing. This is a Western China style. So excited to try these. This is our stewed pork Chinese hamburger. Now this is some good stuff, as you can see. Delicious stewed Chinese pork on the inside. Absolutely amazing. Even outside of Western China, in China, this is a popular street food in general. And uh, honestly, Xi'an Famous Food makes one of the best Chinese pork burgers around. So can't wait to try this. Our spicy cumin lamb hand pulled noodles. These are homemade hand pulled noodles. And it's just wild that a fast food restaurant is doing this. They're hand pulling every single noodle because even even sit down restaurants won't necessarily do that. So there's a reason why this place Xi'an Famous Foods got put on the map. Food's getting cold. Less chat, more snack. Mmm. Oh guys, gotta eat more of this. Mmm. Mmm. 
Honestly, when I was growing up, I had a lot of white American friends who would always say, Oh, I hate vegetables. Vegetables suck. I honestly never understood it. I gotta tell you guys, no one does vegetables like Chinese people. Growing up, I was like, who doesn't like broccoli? Who doesn't like spinach? Honestly, you take some green vegetables, you stir fry them with ginger, scallions, hot oil, garlic, soy sauce, it's gonna taste great. So whenever I went to my white American friends' houses and we're eating vegetables and they're just boiled to death and completely bland, nothing but salt, I finally understood in that moment in elementary school why some people did not like vegetables. But guys, these Chinese cucumbers, just look at them, just completely marinated in Chinese spices and hot oil and garlic while still retaining that cool, pleasant crunch of the cucumber and most of the nutrients. Oh, this is a perfect start to our starchy and meaty meal. And fun fact, another way of calling this in Chinese is Pai Huang Gua, also known as like, kind of like pit or like padded or slapped cucumber. Because typically before they slice it, they'll hit it or pad it or slap it to kind of break it down. So as the kids say these days, this cucumber, it slaps. Sorry guys. Anyways. Let's skip over the dumplings for now, and let's try the rou jiamuo, or Chinese hamburger. Obligatory close-up before the obligatory bite. Mmm. Sorry guys, one more bite. Mmm. Wow. This pork is just so soft, so juicy. It's just the right fattiness to go perfectly with these crispy buns. Just look at that Chinese style stewed pork. Just look at how it just comes apart in my hands. Just like that, look at that. Like pretty much no force and it just comes apart. Oh, melt in your mouth pork. Ain't nothing like it. Stewed, no doubt, for hours and hours. Paired with some grilled buns. Just look at this crispy bun. Sadly, I remember a day when this was $4. Now with inflation and due to Xi'an Famous Foods becoming a little bit well known, at this location it's $5.75, but very, very well worth it. I mean, this thing is more filling than it looks. I can really eat, and two of these is definitely enough for lunch for me. Oh. Excellent. Guys, this is one of my favorite videos yet. Anyways, let's take a break from the hamburger and go with our pork and cabbage dumplings. All right, I got my eye on the spicy dumpling. Who will win, UA Eats or the spicy dumpling? Fight. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. That was a pretty good dumpling, guys. And I am a big fan of dumplings, but I gotta say, Xi'an, they're really onto something by making round dumplings that you can one bite. There's no denying that this is handmade dumpling skin, not like the pre-packaged dumpling wrappers that many restaurants, perhaps even most restaurants, are getting away with, at least in the US. But the starch of any food, including both meat and starch, the starch will make or break it. So yeah, just like how they're hand-pulling noodles, they're hand making this dumpling skin. Let me show you. See, just take a look. Just look at that thickness of the dumpling skin. Now, most of the pre-made dumpling skins from a bag are usually gonna be thinner than that, but just look at that thick and generous and chewy dumpling skin. There's nothing better than a restaurant that doesn't cut corners, and this is a fast food restaurant. That's what's wild. Somehow, they're pumping out homemade products like machines. And you know, that's the future, if you ask me. Let's just dip this in some of the spicy oil. And once again, one biter. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Guys, do what I did. Bite a hole in it first, and then dunk the whole thing in the hot oil. That way, the hot oil not only covers the whole dumpling, but it permeates the inside. I will say though that, to be honest, I don't really taste much cabbage in this. Uh, this was advertised as spicy pork and cabbage dumpling. I mostly taste pork, but you know what? It still tastes good, so I'm not complaining. Mmm. Mmm. Excellent. Last but not least, we are finally gonna eat what we came here for, the piece de resistance. It is finally time to eat the hand-pulled, hand-ripped noodles. Now this is usually where I try to think of something witty to say, or I'll say something like, let's dig in. We're just gonna cut right to it. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. 
Now, I know many people love homemade pasta, and most people will agree that homemade pasta usually trumps dry pasta. Chinese noodle guys is no exception. There is just no beating a hand-pulled, homemade, freshly made plate of noodles. Even at authentic Chinese restaurants, it's gonna be pretty hard-pressed to find places that are willing to do the meticulous process of pulling, folding, pulling again, folding again, folding again, and pulling again process of really stretching out these noodles to really get that perfect springy, bouncy texture. And in fact, in Chinese, these hand-pulled noodles are often called yang biang noodles because biang is supposed to represent the sound that it makes when it hits the table, like that bouncy sound. Honestly, most restaurants are gonna opt for just a cheaper alternative, just pulling some noodles out of a bag. But what's wild about Xi'an Famous Foods and what kind of helped this restaurant chain spread so fast, at least here in New York, is that they trained their staff to pull these by hand, every single order by hand. Mm. Oh. Oh, just no replicating that chew, just no replicating the chew of freshly pulled noodles. Oh. Yeah, we're actually with my fiance here and she's uh, she's from China. Not from Xi'an though. Oh, uh, okay. Important distinction. But how does the food compare to back home? Oh, it's good. It's good? Mm. Is it authentic? It's pretty authentic to me. Huh. Oh, that's what we ate back, back home. I'm not sure what Xi'an people eat though. <laughs> Okay, well you heard it from her. Important disclaimer there at the end, but pretty amazing for the US and New York regardless. Let's try some of the spicy cumin meat. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, the meat's excellent, guys. This meat kind of reminds me of like kebab meat or like skewer meat, like shawarma meat. Hmm. Oh. And it really works with the noodles. Wow. They got everything figured out. I can't speak to other countries, but I will say that I think in the US, a lot of people tend to think that Chinese food is pretty uniform, that, you know, it's all one style, but a lot of people don't realize that China is a pretty big country. I mean, just think about how big the US is. And even in the US, you have varieties of different foods. You have like so many different kinds of barbecue alone, such as St. Louis style, Memphis style, Texas style. But think about that variety in the US, but with a country like China with thousands of years of history. So you got stuff like this. We got noodles, which everyone knows is very East Asian-like, but then you got some infused flavor, like some kebab flavor, almost like some Turkish-like flavor. I'm glad that the diverse cuisines of China are kind of making its way here. The variety is becoming known and it's becoming well accepted. Anyways, less talk, more eat. Mm. Ah, these noodles are like heavy. Mm. Oh. Mm. Whew. Whew. All right, guys, that was excellent, but I'm gonna have to take a bit of a break. I think I ate a little bit too fast. I got a little bit too excited. Whew. Let me get some of that, uh, that uh, hawberry tea. Ugh. I just learned that the hawberry tea, specifically in China, is meant to go with greasy, oily, spicy foods, and it's working. It's definitely cooling my body down a little bit. Ugh. Wow, great. But anyways, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you had fun coming with me to my favorite chain restaurant ever, my favorite fast food restaurant ever. Honestly, when it comes to fast food and fast casual, it doesn't really get much better than Xi'an Famous Foods, at least if you like spicy and you like Chinese food. It slaps or it biangs or whatever. Anyways, guys, once again, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That way you stay up to date whenever I post another video. I'm I'm gonna knock out these noodles and this spicy lamb meat. Until next time, I'll see you later.